Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. So far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to. Who knows how far you'll go? To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Your own imagination waiting there for you. It was winter on the island of Sodor. The snow had melted and maintenance was being done all over the island, while people went about getting things ready for springtime. Farmers were taking their animals to market or were busy in the fields, and engines took the goods around the island. The Scarlet Railway was getting ready for the springtime rush. The last of the track maintenance was being completed, and engines were getting inspected to make sure they were fit for running. One day, Bertram was sat in the sheds looking sad when Peter Sam rolled in. Hello Bertram, what's wrong? My driver's called in sick, I can't go out today. That's a shame, I'll take your train then. I was meant to run up to Lakeside Light Engine anyways to collect some wagons from Rusty. He's almost done on the lift bridge. Oh you're a star, I feel like I'm useless again. Don't be silly, the old warrior is never useless. Peter Sam steamed away. He collected Bertram's coaches and puffed away happily into the mountains. He loved this little railway. It's much better than my last line. That was just too short. He soon collected the trucks at Lakeside with the coaches to bring them back down. Are you going to be okay with that lot? It's a rather long train. I'll be fine. Fit as a fiddle, me. But he wasn't. He moved off and felt a slight pain in his side rod. Probably just old age, or the oil well is dry. <laughs> he laughed to himself. He was still young compared to the other engines. He got back to his Craven's gate and his pain was getting worse. The thin controller was waiting. Ah, Peter Sam, you're due for your fitness inspection tomorrow. Go rest up in shed and your driver can take Bertram out. Yes, sir, Peter Sam said happily. He didn't mind the rest and it helped a friend out. Bertram simmered nicely as the driver swapped over. You be careful on the warrior there. He's not as young as our Peter Sam. I'm not young no more. Don't worry Frank. I got this. Jack's just having a sick day as he got drunk last night at that birthday party. He always did like a drink. Bertram hurried off to his train while Frank the fireman stayed to clean Peter Sam down. Better get you all shiny for your inspection tomorrow old boy. I'm not old, Peter Sam laughed. Frank was wiping the side rods with a nice cold wet cloth when he stopped. How oh dare you? What's wrong? Why did you stop? You're not gonna like this, but I'm gonna have to inform Mr. Percival you're out of service. Your side rod has a crack in it. It's what? Right near crank pin too. You're lucky it didn't snap in two on that last train. He was right. Peter Sam and Mr. Percival didn't like the news. They had half term the next week and needed all the engines in service. The thin controller came to see Peter Sam the next day. We can't get a new rod made till a month's time and the ultrasonic test showed it's almost straight the way through. Sorry Peter Sam, but you're going to have to wait in the sheds. But how will you run trains without me? You're going to be really busy next week. I'll have a word with someone I know. They have an engine spare. Sure enough, two days later a new little engine was brought in as a replacement. Her name is Lyra. 
Now everyone, I'd like to all welcome our newest guest. As you're aware, Peter Sam will be out of service for a few weeks, so please treat her as one of your own. The little engine smiled and welcomed her. All except Duncan. Pah, no engine. We don't need one, especially one from another railway. Ignore Duncan. He can be like this to us all. He's a really nice engine once you get to know him. Lyra just smiled. He won't bother me. Back on the other railway, my siblings argued all the time, but I always stood my ground. Lyra was set to work straight away. She double-headed a few trains with Scarlowy so she could learn the line with her crew. It's a beautiful line, much longer than I'm used to. Where are you from? I'm actually from Old Mid Sodor Railway. I think I recognise Sir Handel and Peter Sam. They had other names, right? Stuart and um Falcon, yes, they've been here a while now. I'm surprised they didn't recognise you. Where have you been up until now? Oh, just a little estate railway that runs around the farm. I have a sister there called Liasic. It's a museum with lots of different engines from all over the world. They came round the corner and Lyra slammed on the brakes. What's wrong? Ah, uh, sheep on the line. Not again. You'll have to be patient. Lyra smirked and gently whistled. To Scarlow's surprise, the sheep moved off the line. How did you do that? When I worked at my first line, sheep would break through the fence often. I learned how to shoo them off. They headed home and Scarlow was impressed. He started to tell the others when Lyra went off on her own. And so we came round the corner and Lyra stops for sheep. Bah, sheep. I just wish at them. They move without me stopping. When have you ever done that? Just the other day. You were late the other day. Are you sure? Duncan stayed silent and Lyra rolled in. She had started to wobble a little. She'll probably just scare them off with a pogo stick bounce. My what? You heard me. You bounce around the track like one of those pogo sticks the kids play with. You're one to talk, Mr. Rock and Roll. Duncan left without another word. How rude of him. Take no notice of him. He moans about everything. Lyra kept working the passenger trains over the next few days. She especially liked running through the little market village. I really like this part of the island most. There's always stuff going on. Be it a market, a school trip, or the farmers bringing their livestock for us trains to take to the mainland. She stopped to talk to some local children. Whoa, new engine! Where did you come from? What is your name? Lyra smiled. I came from a little railway while one of your engines is being repaired. I live in a little farm railway with lots of other locos. At that point, Duncan came round the corner. Bah! Hop along, Lyra. We got work to do. I am doing my work, Duncan. I just happen to like this part of the line. Nothing special about this place. Ah, nothing special about this place. It's a lovely town, Duncan. So much happening here. 
Dunkung whistled loudly and it scared some sheep. They burst out of the pen and blocked the line. Get off the line, sheep! Move! He wished loudly at them, but they didn't move. Lyra just laughed. <laughs> That's the sound cows make, Duncan. That's his sheep. They go, bah! It still needs to move. It's okay, Duncan. It's not going to hurt you. And what would you know about sheep? You got stuck behind them on Monday. Well, I know they flock together when they feel threatened. You wouldn't want to threaten them, would you now? Well, if you're so good, you clear the line then. Lyra smirked. Mm, no. No? Why not? You are rude to me. And you're just a silly little engine. I'm not moving then. The villagers struggled with the sheep and Duncan was getting impatient. Fine. I'm a sorry for being rude. Mean it? Yes. I need to get to the wall before I'll miss a ship. Very well. She slowly bounced up to the sheep and whistled them back to their pen. How did you do that? It was nothing. You could say I'm a sheepdog. <laughs> the two little engines laughed together. Duncan left smiling with a new respect for Lyra. Unfortunately, that wasn't the end of Lyra's problems. But that's a story for another day. Reach for the wind, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the song, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. So much to see. So far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to, who knows how far we'll go. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Your own imagination's waiting there. Waiting there for you, waiting.